Hey guys, this is a continuation of last tutorial, which was making basic AI. Now, in our last a in our last the last tutorial, our AI only moved um, in just a random direction anywhere, and that would be good for kind of um, friendly NPCs in your game, and you just want them to have a bit of random movement. But what about for enemies who are like, who are looking to seek out your character, and they want to uh, collide with your character to hurt them. So we're going to do that now. You can grab the source code off the Java Hub forums. It will be a link in the description. And the first thing that you'll notice is that these two classes are exactly the same, except I've removed the choose a random direction method, and I've removed it out of the run method as well. But everything else other than that is the same. Um, so let's just get started, because I want to keep this within... Uh, I don't want to split this into two. So the first thing we need to do is make another rectangle in our AI class, and that rectangle is going to be target. So we will call it target rather appropriately. And then that means our constructor needs to take another parameter. Uh, we'll just call it T. And then we can say target equals T. And this means in our main method over here, we have, I changed this name to enemy by the way, it used to be called object. So now we can have an enemy and enemy's target is the player, if I can spell player right, which is this here. And let me just show you quickly. Um, as you can see, I have this animation of the Zelda Octorok, and then I have this red cube, which is my player. So now in our AI class, we're going to get started on our programming. So we need to just make one method called, well, We'll name it in a second, but it's basically just going to decide whether it needs to move up, down, left, or right, depending on the characters, where the character is. And this may sound complicated, but it's far simpler than you probably think. So public void, we'll, um, and we're going to call this find path to target. And this is going to find a smart path to our target so it's really simple to do this we just need to make four if statements and we need to say if ai dot x if the x of the ai is less than the x of the target so target dot x we want to set the x direction to so if the x of the ai is less than in the case of x it means the ai would be over here and the character would be over here so we need to add to the x-axis so we change this to we make it one and then I can just copy this whole statement and paste it and change this to a greater than sign so if the AI is at a greater x point than the target we need to make it minus one and then I can copy this and then paste it like this and change these to y's set y direction and that's the exact same principle, y, y, y. And then that is pretty much it. And now we need to just call our find path to target in our run method, and we'll do that above the move. Find path to target. And then I am going to make this run for a little longer. I want to make it run for one and a half seconds, so I'll do three times 500. And then if I run this now, we can immediately see our Octrock is finding a path to our player and then it's waiting so if I leave it still it's going to try and move to our player and I can move it away but it will all when whenever the Octrock is moving whenever it's not resting it's always trying to find a path to our player so that's um that's basically the beginning to making smart AI in Java. So now that we know how our enemies can find a path to our player, we can move on to more complex things, um, such as finding paths around obstacles and things like that. So hopefully this tutorial made sense, and it's for what for what this does, it's pretty simple. So, um, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you later.